Hello everyone, my name is Prey Scooter, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This time we'll be Let's Playing Thomas Was Alone. What is Thomas Was Alone? Well, I don't know either, because I'll actually be playing the game blind myself. So, if you don't know what the game is, I encourage you to sit down, pull up your chair, and let's enjoy the story together, because... Though this game is not about basically squares and uh, squares and rectangles, it apparently has kind of a storybook story to it. So sit down, fasten your seatbelts, and let's go ahead and give it a roll. <clears throat> now there will be parts in, there will be parts of this game that are going to be spoken. I might be quiet for those. But, there's also going to be bits where I might also talk over from trying to explain something. Was alone. Wow. A weird first thought to have. Something like that. Cause, and I'll be having fun editing. Editing, a part of this is probably going to be hell on me. But playing this, probably not so much. Now let's see. Let's see. Oh, wait. Can I? I... You lied to me. I try. I thought I could play this with a controller. I guess I can't. So, my move. I'm gonna be playing the game with the key with the keyboard. It looks like most of my <clears throat> looks like most of my movements gonna be dictated by the arrow keys and up. Maybe I'll play with W A S D. Feels a little more natural. Oh, that's simple. Now might get a little more story here actually. I guess not. Now, the reason why I chose Thomas Was Alone was I felt after all the complex, mind-numbing, you know, kind of the complex figuring out things that it came with, you know, doing Pokemon and doing all the other things I've done recently, I figured Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere he'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. Let me finish my sentence before the game interrupts me again. I figured I deserve something kind of laid back, something just kind of fun and relaxing instead of Always making me worry about what's coming up next, or what objective I need to complete next, or what po or what Pokemon I'm, I need from this from Area Z. So I figured something just nice, calm, and mellow. I don't know how long this will be, but however long will be, we'll enjoy every step of the way. And I do encourage you guys to kind of play along with it in the comment section. You know, tell me your thoughts. Tell me how much you like the story. All that stuff. It appears to be a very simple game at first start, so... Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think! What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to... What's the word? Jump. <laughs> I like it. Worked! Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. Alright. Well, it looks like there's low collectibles too. I don't know if I'm going to get all the collectibles. I'll try, but no promises. It is a puzzle platformer of sorts. A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. Uh, I'm good at this jump. I'm good at, I'm good at jump video. Grandma, wow, that's a lar large lake over there. Oh. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Oh, I skipped. I skipped the story. I tried to get that thing over there. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Well, I'm still going for that. Anyway, got it. 
got it all, so. Oh, jeez. That's what they was talking about. Ah. <laughs> Stop that! He was starting to suspect it might even be doing so. <laughs> God damn it, game. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. Who knows? Wait, what's that over there? I see a little break in the level up there. Without breaking the level. I wonder if I can go somewhere, like through a secret wall or something. Huh. I always get paranoid in games like this that seem too simple to be true. I always I always feel like there's gotta be more. Though it is just like simple pic slumber pixelated art style and shapes, it's actually kind of a beautiful world. I, I like this so far. It might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. You mean like a video game? Designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. You gotta like that kind of idea, just kind of like the game, questioning the game itself. Oh, hello. What's that? Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. He made another mental note. Four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. <laughs> water bad. Or toxic in this case. That must be a... Those must be respawn points, those little circle arrows. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. And yet... It's kind of serene. I like it. I also like how the lights work on this. It's actually kind of cool how everything, everything casts a shadow. In this world of squares and pixels. Sorry. This this let's play might be a little philosophical of sorts. Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. Oh, Thomas. Ooh. Woo! Free rides. This is ca I like this. It's just a nice little game. Now, I don't know if this is a full-on company, but I think this was just made by... I think this is one of these games that's just made by one guy. Or one of those games that's just made by a single person. Who knows? Who knows? Who cares? You play games to go along for the ride, don't you? Not f and you most time not to find out who is responsible for it. <coughs> oh, and I wonder what these are. Huh, must be like things about... Eh, who knows? Oh, hello. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? All right, so I can switch between characters using the number pad or the numbers on top, or I can use Q and E to cycle. Okay. All right, whatever. Oh, jeez, you do not jump very well, do you? But I've already forgot the puzzle here. Thomas was no longer alone. Oh, Thomas had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. 
You're even being graceful at times. Well, not actually. Not technically graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. I like how they give everybody a character. Oh, jeez. Hello, world. You're evolving. <laughs> you're scaring me, but you're evolving. I really do like how each character, each character or each shape has its own... Oh, hey, I'm not supposed to go that way. <laughs> I like how each character has its own little personality. It... Well, I'm not supposed to go that way. Also, I had a kind of awkward wall jump moment going on there. I like the music here, too. I hope you can hear the music over me, over my ramblings and shamblings. Thomas just wants to help you, dude. Now go ahead and run along to your destination, you... Sourpuss. Just, just fall to your destination, down here. Yeah, we'll, we'll grow to love him in, in all due time. was more like it. A glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it, which of course made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Well, let's find out. Jump on it, Chris. Oh! Nice! <laughs> Thomas, Chris needs, a, need, Chris needs a little help me, help me up. Give him a little push. Give him a little. Give him a little help in his ups. Great, great. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate! Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Oh, endearing characters. You gotta love them. Ooh, ooh. Was this good? Because. On the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was Sort of his point. Hmm. I can't jump with him on my back. But then how do I get him up higher? Maybe... Oh, wait. Maybe I don't have to get Chris up there. Oh, yeah, I don't have to get Chris up there. <laughs> Alright. Safe folly place. Alright. You go to the right. Oh. Oh, jump. Well, Spacebar didn't. Why did Spacebar not jump for you then? Are you afraid of jumping? Damn it, Chris. I always knew you were a sour apple. Alright, let's get Thomas home. Or portal him. My WT is starting to f freak out on me. I don't want to have to get another keyboard if this is a case. Anyway. Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. That would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. You say idiot, I say friend. Would split them up. If only for a few levels. Oh. Chris, why you gotta be a dick? Oh. Well fine. Chris can go on his own on his own adventure right there. Hoopa! Okay. Look at me, I'm the jump man. Or the jump block, I guess. I'm really digging the music here, at least. 
one would almost think that this that I should be playing this game as a think fast, but nah. I don't think so. I think this game is just a little too fun to play as just to think fast. Let's get over here in case. Oh, I can't go much further back. Okay. All you, little dude. Boom. Lego's got <laughs> Lego's got these this old like chip tune. All this little like chip or er, chip tune different pitches and tones thing to to each character. Well whatever. In we go. Friends forever. Hello, who are you? John knew. He knew that this was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. All right. But John will have to wait for next time. Everyone, I do thank you for watching this first episode of Thomas Was Alone. I know, I know I'm kind of me letting the game talk, but like I said, it's a kind of a different approach to a game, kind of just enjoying a game instead of showing off my prowess. Everyone, I hope you join me tomorrow for the next episode of Thomas Was Alone. And I hope we can enjoy this ride together all the way through, no matter how long it is. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you then.